All right, everyone, thank you for joining me. Today, we're having a look at Orsted. It's a game currently in demo, and uh, yeah, I've been tampering away with it for a bit here, and it's it's a pretty cool game. So, first things first, the tutorial. WASD to move your camera around. You can orbit by holding uh, the middle mouse key and having a wee, wee look at that. Ah, it's, it's quite pretty looking. Let's see, uh, Q and E, rotate it around. Okay, that's pretty standard. Back to our normal position. Uh, build ore near fertile land and trees. Okay, let's see. Ore here is, it's kind of like a town center uh, where all the experience gets sent to. Um, you'll you'll understand what I mean in a wee second. Let's place it down, down here. That'll do. Okay, so now we have our ore, our uh, town hall. So we need to chop trees to gather wood. It provides Wisdom, which is used to level up, and there's a wee bar underneath here that'll uh, go along. So let's uh, let's chop down some trees, shall we? Commit a wee bit of deforestation. Don't worry, you can get a woodcutter's hut, and we can uh, we can be a little nicer to the trees. In the meantime, though, they're going to be cut down. Okay, so our little our little people are going to go out and uh, chop them down. Uh, I'll concentrate on trees around here because this will be our main commerce area. We've got a few canals as well. Uh, so we need to build paths to extend our territory. Simple enough. Citizens walk a little faster on them. And uh, we'll build it out this way here. Uh, they will get on to building it. And if you want, you can speed it up. See that wee yellow bar that's filling up? Uh, that is our wisdom. We also have happiness. Uh, we have homeless citizens. And wood. We'll eventually get access to more resources as time goes on. Okay, so I need to get some house. So one wee housing district. And looking at the layout here, it shall be... I'll put it a wee bit more to the north there. So we'll build a wee bit more paths. Now, whilst they're building that, we'll be able to build the paths across like so. And we'll get a wee house or two as we get the path made. There we go. Another house, another house, and another house. Okay, so they will, uh, they'll need three bits of wood for each house. Uh, in fact, you know what we could do? We could... Tell them not to build that. Uh, so that we demolish till we even take away blueprints. Uh, we actually had some more wood sitting around, but we need some farms. Farms can only be built on fertile land such as this. So build some here. We'll connect it up to the main roadway like that. Speed it up to let our people run about a wee bit more. We'll also get chopping a few more trees and uh, once we get the woodcutters hut this all speeds up quite rapidly there's only two homeless citizens at the moment uh, we've housed four of them and there are two more uh, that will get some housing oh we've unlocked a granary which will store wheat now our people are a little hungry and if they're hungry they get a little unhappy so we'll need wheat now once we build it on fertile land here these farms will slowly grow uh, some yummy, yummy wheat for us. We'll also be able to build a granary, which will store some wheat for us. We'll actually build this, we'll build this opposite uh, our fields, making it easy to transport to and from. And as you can see, we have a few people that are just happily uh, building away there. Our population at the moment appears to be, oh, well, I suppose there's just a certain, certain number. We have seven, eight people now. Nice. Okay, we're still leveling up. What is next? Open the job priority and change work priority. Okay, yeah, we can try to redo. Maybe you need to get them to chop more or you run out of food. So you need farming or uh, you want them to transport all the excess resources. All right, for now, I will cut down a few more trees. And uh, let's see what we unlock next. Oh, we do need the granary built. Oh, we've got the wood for it. So the guys will bring over the wood and get the granary built for us. Nice. Okay, so this will store wheat up to 50. And considering it's directly opposite this, it was a pretty nice call. Okay, so we're going to build some stockpiles here. Um, I will want them like this direction. Cost two wood to build a wee stockpile. And this will hold 50 wood. Uh, we'll get two of them set up. And we have a lumberjack now. This is where things start to really ramp up. Right, so let's uh, let's get a path 
out this way. Get the wee lumberjack. Place some, place some here. There is an additional building that we will be building next to the lumberjack very soon. We've actually run out of wood. Fancy that. Okay, so we'll kind of carve our way this way because I want the lumberjacks kind of concentrated around this area. You can see the size of the map. Uh, we will probably max everything out within this uh, one island here. We won't actually have to hop too much um, to finish the tutorial on it. Um, but there's still lots of things that they will be adding to the game. And this little lumberjack is going to uh, work away. So it provides one wood and one wisdom every single time it uh, generates some wood. And once it does, your citizen will take the wood to the nearest wood stockpile. Highly recommend that you get a few of these up and running, just to make everything run uh, smoothly. I'm going to be placing a tavern behind these. I like, to, I like to get a good bit of efficiency going on the taverns here. So, as we tavern, we'll place it. Oh. Yep, we'll place it here. These will actually... It will upgrade the... Uh, existing buildings uh, providing them with more happiness and uh, obviously I think a wee bit more population uh, upgrades fishing shack okay so we're still leveling up what is our current level level five okay so wood production will become a major feature uh, so what we will want to do is run a few more paths in the woods here to uh, get more lumberjacks And continue the theme over here. Another lumberjack. We can build a wee farmhouse now. So you can see within the wee yellow radius of the farmhouse, it will upgrade existing fields. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to take away a field. And don't need, you don't need to worry about access uh, for the field itself. We'll be able to build two more along it here. Once we get the wood. Okay, well, we're currently generating wood from one single source. Um, we can actually put our vast workforce to, uh, to work here. Um, all the extra wood will be used for extra lumber mills. Perfect. And, of course, trying to build our uh, wee farmhouse here on our village nicely now happiness at the moment our problem is homeless citizens okay so there is an easy way around that we're going to deforest this entire area and get more houses remember to build them within the radius oh to break my own rule there within the radius of this single tavern here uh, so here these across and then what you will be able to do is to... Oh, no, actually, we'll be able to take this off. You can see some major efficiency planning coming on here. Oh, take that away. And there we go. So that tavern will very efficiently cover all of these houses here. Then obviously if we put a wee tavern over here, we'll be able to get this entire square. So that's kind of got us sorted. We still have five homeless citizens as we are rapidly climbing the ranks here. Now, a lumberjack house increases the productivity of our lumberjacks here. So we'll be placing a few of them around the place. We can't, uh, oh, we can't we can place that one there. A bit hidden, but does the job. And yeah, plus one efficiency to lumberjacks. Uh, so this one is uh, currently just in quite a bit more, as is this one. You might only need to put one beside them. I like putting two, though. It kind of builds up the, the ambience. And you can see the building gets upgraded slightly, uh, looks-wise. Okay, so what are we running out of? Well, we are currently, <laughs> currently about to run out of... Uh, very vital resource here so let's build them across see how fast and rapid we build everything now yeah we'll get our farmhouse going right. 
get one more farm house. Oh, no, we need some farms. Change it up a little. Ah, we now have unlocked the dock. Um, so that's the tutorial pretty much complete, but for me to fully complete it, I am going to show you all of the unlocks that we can get. Okay, so the dock here can be a little... Hmm, let's see. If I actually take that away, you get the dock right here. There we go. And then this will provide wisdom and fish. Once we level up enough, we will actually gain access to uh, a wee way to store the fish. Uh, we seem to be built, or we seem to be farming quite rapidly here, so maybe a granary would be good. Um, actually, going to I'm going to place food stockpiles along here. I'm going to destroy that one. Houses. Continue our little uh, paths. And we can also build bridges. Now, bridges here have a particular way of being made, if I remember. Let's go with these. Now, you, can't, you cannot build bridges in the sense of just spanning whatever. They can only span a single block. So, there we go. Build that. And then we build another bridge once uh, we get access over that bit. There we go. Now we can get this. Oh, it's too close to a bridge. Ah, right. Wonder will they change that in the future. Either way, we can just build the path around this way. And there we go. Bridge complete. So we have access to another island. And of course, if we wanted, we could just repeat the process over yonder. Get ourselves another bridge in place. So now we have access to all of the islands except this one. We'll get to there very soon. Okay, so I want a fishing district. I'm going to build it up here. Massive fishing district. Let's try and get the efficiency going here. Look at them all just standing waiting around. <laughs> and another tavern, as I said, will be continuing our little efficient pattern. Get more houses. Boop, boop. And there we go. Another massive amount of access of housing. Happiness is pretty good. We have lots of fish. We do need to store this fish, though. Uh, this is where fisheries come into play. Fish markets as well. That generates both gold and uh, wisdom. And now we've unlocked the coal mine. You guessed it. Produces coal and a bit of pollution. Now, you can technically place these wherever you like but obviously because they are going to cause a bit of pollution we will have to pick an island that we are totally okay with being completely annihilated um this right here will become our coal district we chop down all the trees still got plenty of wood production we could even add a few more if we wanted Uh, let's do that now. Another lumberjack. Another lumberjack house. Once this is built. Boom. Okay. So we have the wood stockpile. We've cleared this entire area. Nope. Yep. Yeah. More bits to be deforested. Okay, 
Let's get some coal mines out. Four coal mines have now been constructed. Looks like we could also use a few more fisheries. Ooh. Always leave the wee space or the wee gap free if you can, you know, eventually you'll probably want to squeeze in, you know, for fisheries. Um, that stores the fish, of course. Uh, the fish market actually sells it. See, is all are up to speed on what they do. Efficiency wise, you probably could have built in here and got that wee square instead, but yeah, it continues. We've got our little farms running at a nice capacity as well. Uh, most of the fertile land, there actually was quite a bit over here, but you can see the pollution that this is causing. That does mean that we probably couldn't have a nice bit of farmland over here. Now, let's see. Right. Oh, cool star pad. You'll soon see what coal is in fact used for. A few more levels. We'll find out what the coal does. Uh, we still have excess wheat, which is good. Uh, let's see. I actually think I need a wee bit more wheat. Bakery unlock produces bread, 5% happiness. Let's go over here. Bakery so it consumes one wheat, one coal, and provides wisdom. Wood, and also store, or well, provides, sorry, not wood. It produces bread. 5% for nearby houses. So yeah, I probably, I could have been a wee bit more efficient here. I, I totally forgot about these guys, so we're going to destroy some houses. But this is just to make the population... Even happier? Okay, I realize it's only getting these. It's actually not getting these houses in the middle. Um, That's okay. We're still providing a wee bit of happiness, isn't it? Look at the coal we have going. Massive production. The amount of wisdom we're building up now. I think we have one more building to unlock in the tutorial. Bread. See, it actually stores bread, so you don't need to worry about building something additional. Um, and the happiness through the roof, plus seventy percent from bread. Um, homelessness is a problem though that we will have to fix. And uh, we'll probably have to start chopping down trees here. Yeah, for our massive housing district. I want I'll actually destroy that. Aha! The lighthouse uh, doubles fish happiness. Requires water on three sides. So there's probably only a few places you can build it. Like there. You can build it there. Um, wow, there actually was not a lot of choices to build this. Uh, but we can just put it there. Um, I'll destroy that because I think that would just look nicer as a uh, this is another field. Won't be upgraded, but yeah, could be. Put a farmhouse in. That's not efficiency. That's pure aesthetics right there. And that uh, will connect the lighthouse. I'm sure they'll be adding, like, uh, you know, decorations and whatnot. But that is essentially it. That is the tutorial done. Built all the buildings we, we need. And, yeah, we've got a coal district. I'm just noticing now the trees actually regrow after a while. Didn't notice that. Um, that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, you just have to remember when they pop up. So, yeah, we have our fishing district complete with uh, fish markets. Oh, it gives 5% fish happiness for each house. So we could actually build the fish markets in and among uh, the city. That would have been uh, neat to know, actually. wonder do they overlap with a bakery? Oh, that's a possibility. 
houses along both sides. And of course, we'd eventually build more taverns. Yeah, really cool game. So that's the demo, pretty much complete. All buildings unlocked. Um, let me know what you think in the comments if you want to see more of it. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining me. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.